good sunny Saturday. Well, at least it was sunny and right now I'm looking outside and to be honest, it is getting quite cloudy, sadly enough. It is an average Saturday, uh, nothing special today. There's, most of the snow has been gone. Uh, as you can see, my Christmas tree or our Christmas tree is not gone yet. Uh, Ilona is working until two o'clock. It is now half past one. Uh, I'm gonna get ready in five minutes and I'll pick up Ilona and we have to do some, well, very basic grocery shopping actually. Um, after that, who knows what we're gonna do? First, let's have some food because Ilona's not feeling that well, so maybe she'll feel a little bit better if we ate something, but we'll see how that is going because she has been working hard and it's been cold last day, so maybe that's the reason that she wasn't feeling that well. I'm gonna take you along with me again. You like it? She wasn't feeling it well, but she doesn't look that sick, to be honest, though. No, I'm fine. You're fine? Yes, I'm always fine. No, you're strong, not. strong, independent woman. What do you want to do now? I'm hungry. So, we're probably going to get some uh, food right now first from Lidl. Yep. Okay, so we're going to go to Lidl. Uh, or in English, Lidl. <laughs> uh, it's an inside joke. You should have seen the video. Maybe I can put it in here. I had a Lidl gekocht. Where are we? At Lidl. We're at Lidl. We're at our Again. favorite hobby. Yeah. We really love this store, somehow. I don't know why, but we come here somehow. No, we, but we come here somehow three, three days a week or something, so. Convenient. It's convenient, it's close by, it's, uh, but now they've Let's got a discount and we need to get that stuff so we can like collect some healthy products. Uh, I'm not gonna film inside Lidl because everybody knows how Lidl looks from the inside. If you don't, find one nearby. Uh, and maybe after this we'll show you a little place that we love also very much. It's a place where we always go in summer to go for a swim. And I've been challenged to take a dive. I say... No. If, no, yeah, I know. If you're gonna get sick, I'm not gonna take care of you, but... If I'm gonna get 150 likes on this video, I'm gonna dive in at Plakis. 150 likes. Should be possible. No? Okay. Look what we just find. And where is it from? Holland. From Holland. It's actually really seriously from Dijk Flora. It's from Holland. Anyway, it won't focus. They've got other ones as well. We survived that. Literally surviving, huh? Now I hate the store again, but in two days I will love to go there again. It took so long. There are their surfaces sometimes so horrible, but still, I don't care. Whatever. We got our stuff, and uh, they're yeah, they're very grumpy, like uh, Ilona says. But we got our stuff, and now we're gonna cook something and then eat. So right now we're back home again with. Uh, a little bit sick Ilona. She's acting very tough and everything, but she's not feeling that well. Even though she says, right? But still, she got enough power to cook. Usually we split up. If she's not feeling well or something, or I'm not feeling well, <coughs> we share a little bit who's cooking. So, but now we're gonna have some nice, uh, we're gonna have some nice potatoes and some green beans with tomato sauce and everything. So. And like I said this morning, actually, it is very funny because this morning I said that it was a nice and sunny, sunny Saturday. And it actually turned out to be a very nice and sunny Saturday again. Would you look at that? The sky is not all that blue yet. There's definitely some clouds like right there. But if it keeps on going like this, we're going to have some awesome days these days. One 
person in this house that actually will miss this Christmas tree a lot. Huh, Durak? Yeah, you know that I'm talking to you. He knows his name so well. Come on, in the summer. What? <laughs> One of our favorite places is uh, here at Plakjes. It is not a very nice like location and everything. It is right next to the road. And uh, as you can see, I mean, cars are driving by all the time and it's very l loud and noisy. But the other benefit is, is that you're always like out of the wind of the mountain of the bank. Usually it uh, makes no sense because the wind is not coming from there. In the summer, the wind always comes by the water. Uh, but the most pretty thing is that there are all these little beaches and uh, yeah, there the water is so super clear here. As you can see, there's always uh, little, little beaches. They're man-made. It's a cliff where usually you could not really swim. Plus the view of the cliff is very cool. It's not just the, the sea that you have to swim in. And now, yes, you might hear the cars very well, but you don't hear the cars when you're actually really going for a swim. So we're gonna go to our favorite one, which is, uh, what's it called again? I think it's, uh, I don't know. Uh, Yasun? Nireas. No, Yasun or something? No, I think Nireas. Nireas. I have no idea. Nireas, probably. And uh, it's the one where we usually go. And it's very nice because there's a big, big rock. You will see in a second. favorite places it is um, a little little beach it is all like I said man-made there's a little corner where you can sit out of the Sun and the waves can get really high on this rock here and the nice thing about this biggest rock or yeah broken off piece of mountain is that first of all you have of course the obviously amazing view and it really goes very very far away because if you look all the way over there that is uh, Agria, and then you can look further and you have the end of Pilio. It's like very foggy for now. And then you can look even further and you can see the... What's that again, babe? Yeah, you can see Ayo Stefano, which is the other side of, uh, of Magnesia, of Pilio. And then right around the corner there is Volo, so you're actually a little bit out of the sight of Volos as well. But especially uh, like now that I've never seen this, but right behind there, you can maybe see it. A little zoomed in, you can still see the snow on top of the mountains there. Do you know which mountain that is? Isn't that Olympus? No. Which one is it again? I my don't my dad told me once. I don't remember which one it is exactly. No, Evia is behind the uh, pillion there. I yes, think, don't think we could be able to see it. And a lot of Greek people actually go swimming here. Actually, we just saw. I might be able oh, to see, see to show later, yeah, that there are actually people swimming right now because this is also a place where a lot of winter swimmers come. And uh, as the word says, winter swimmers because the water is so clear here and it's right now not very windy. And people go here in winter to swim. And this is the part where I said, like, if I get 150 likes on the video, then I might take a dive as well. We're not gonna wait, of course, until it's going to turn. Uh, summer but still now this is a very cool place it's a perfect place to snorkel we love it
one of the things that I really like around here is that uh, the vegetation, I mean, there are, except for the little Christmas balls that they hang up on the tree, because there's always people around here. The lovely fact that these, I don't know what they're called, but these bushes are always in summer full of very beautiful pink flowers, which I'll definitely be able to show you once it gets better weather. So yeah, and it's not just that, there's way more to see here actually, because there are a piece of the newspaper hanging here about what people do. There is a clock actually hanging, so you can see how long you've been here. And that's very convenient if you don't wear a watch in the water. There's a shower uh, down below and up here with fresh water, which in the summer is always full of uh, wasps and everything. Uh, there's a, a little workout bar and there's always a couple of guys that like to like show off a little bit and with the Greek flag in the back at least it used to be a Greek flag but as far as I can see right now <laughs> there's not much left of it just look at how clear that water isn't that cool that's about a meter and a half deep So I like making these videos. I don't know about you. It's fun. What? It's fun. It's fun. Okay. Yeah. So if you like this video, uh, leave a like first of all because that uh, it might ha may help us. The more likes, the more views we get probably as well, and the more fun it is for me to keep making them. Uh, the nice thing about this is that I can show everybody that has never been to Volos how Volos is and maybe in the future also go a little bit further for example uh, how I got here the first place to, in Platania and how uh, we met in Cardiza for example we can show mm. something of Cardiza all the places that usually not everybody just goes to most people have not one of uh, Crete or have been to Athens or to Thessaloniki you will find a lot of videos about that, but not about different places like, in my opinion, for example, Volos or uh, the little villages around Pelion. However, they get more famous every single time. But uh, if you want me to show something around here on Pelion for now, uh, just leave it below in the comments and uh, hit that subscribe button. And we found out by now that it's writing Greek, Egrafi. Yes. <laughs> So if it's in Greek, uh, <laughs> hit the Egrafi button, uh, the Abonnier button, the Abonnieren button, or just subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.